Daniel Allen. Is Daniel here from um, Occupy Denver? Oh. Hi there, Daniel. Introduce yourself and who you represent. Denver and Occupy Boulder. Um, so the main reason the uh, the many camping bans were passed is is contempt for the homeless. Um, other speakers have spoken about this at length. There are other reasons those camping bans were passed in municipalities and counties throughout our state. For example, one of the reasons members of Denver City Council gave for supporting the urban camping ban in Denver uh, in the period of time surrounding its passage was codifying the brutal crackdown on Occupy Denver um, of a few months before as legal. That is to say, one of the reasons given by the people who passed the ban in Denver was to criminalize, punish, and prevent political speech. This is in direct violation of the First Amendment to the Constitution, uh, to the Constitution of the United States. The urban camp camping bans throughout our state are unconstitutional. Furthermore, I think some historical context is necessary for understanding how bills like urban camping bans come to a vote in the first place. For the last several decades, mayors and city council persons uh, have been elected throughout our, our country who believe, who believe that cities are places of chaos and crime, and just chaos and crime, and maybe also business. This is a false conception of what cities are. Cities are places of community and family and friendship and culture and diversity, and where people are born, grow, and live out their lives. This is reflected in the justifications Denver, this, the, the, uh, cons that elected mem members of city governments believe that it's just, cities are just places of chaos and crime and maybe business, is reflected in the justifications Denver city council persons gave for voting in favor of the, uh, of the ban in Denver. You can look at news articles online from that point in time, especially the ones from the evening of May 14th, 2012, and the days after um, the passing of Denver's ban. Um, one member of this committee asked, uh, or said that um, she felt that uh, she wasn't sure how, since the bill doesn't say non-homeless people are not prohibited to camp, how, that, how the bill would actually ultimately help homeless people. And my response is, you can look at Occupy Denver and Occupy Canada throughout the, uh, the country and the occupation in, uh, this past summer and watch how people who didn't have home, who do have homes, went and camped with people who didn't have homes and helped, and helped take care of them, helped them try to transition, helped to be a, a social safety net for those people. It's actually better for the homeless if non-homeless people all get together and say one weekend, let's go, let's go sleep with the homeless. Thank you. Let's see if there's any questions.